Hey guys, Bennett Profixer. Today we're talking about the DT880. It's an incredibly compact device that can get you some really good insight into what your board is doing. Generally, the DT880 and other similar tools are used for board level diagnostics. However, even if you're not at that level yet, it's still a great tool to add to your workbench as it can give you some really great insight to understand if the phone is booting or not, or really some of the other issues that it may have and some of the other possible solutions that you could possibly deliver to it in order to repair the device. In the description below, I've included all the links for everything on my workbench as well as the DT880. Let's check it out. The first thing you'll notice about the DT880 is the size. It can literally fit in the palm of your hand. This is extremely cool because when compared to an iPower Pro that connects to a standard desktop power supply, this saves a ton of room on the bench and can essentially replace an iPower Pro or other motherboard powering tools. Uh, they do have their advantages and disadvantages. I'm going to be covering really just what the DT880 does and I'll probably do a comparison video later on. Um, taking a look at the outside, the left side here does have a little cover on it and this can plug into a USB extension. It can plug directly into a power block uh, but this is how you get power into the DT880. As well, there is another power port, just a micro USB over here on the other side. You can plug in just a regular micro USB cable into a standard wall block, and that will power the DT880. So I'm going to kind of show you what it does. So when you plug it in, it'll power up, and it'll display on the screen your voltages, your amperage, your max amperage, and then also the minutes and seconds for how long it's actually been running the phone. On the right side over here, you do have some... Uh, USB ports that you can plug in the provided micro USB cables and that is how you're going to power the motherboard itself. So what does the DT880 do? Um, what is its purpose? This is not to charge a device so just because it has a USB port over here do not plug in a lightning cable or any other kind of cable and then plug it into the charge port of a phone. What you'll do is it comes with these included, it comes with two of these actually, it comes with two micro USB cables and they come with a bunch of tips um, so it's going to come with uh, tips that look just like these here. Essentially what these have on them, they have a battery connector and then also a charge port connector. What these, what the DT880 is intended for is to mimic the, mimic a battery in your phone. Um, so that way you can actually see the voltages and amperages of the actual battery as if it was in there because you can't really see that when you just have a battery plugged in. So this is kind of like the intermediary here that uh, gives you the information you'll need in order to see what the battery is doing as the phone is attempting or actually booting. Um, and also when you power this up you'll see that if you do charge your phone you want it to be at 5 volts. This one only powers up to 4.2 which is the battery voltage um, on just a standard battery. So taking a look at these, I do have a fully working phone here, I have a partially working motherboard here, and then I have a completely shorted motherboard here. I'm going to kind of show you how the DT880 um, will work with each of these and kind of what you'll see on those, um, so you can kind of get a little bit of a grasp. So the first thing you'll do is take the DT880 and make sure that it's powered on. Um, the screen will be powered up if it's powered on, so I'll kind of show you what it will look like. So I'll unplug that and uh, plug it in fresh. Everything's going to be at zero. That essentially says zero volts are going to be pushed out, um, therefore no amperage can be drawn. Um, let's go and plug in the cable. So we'll plug that in, and then we want to select the appropriate tip for whatever we're working with. On all these here, these are all iPhone 6's, so plugging these in, uh, you'll plug it in just like that. You'll see that it has the battery connector as well as the charge port connector. And so what you'll do is you'll take this and uh, you'll plug it directly into the battery and then also into the charge port itself. Make sure it's plugged in uh, you know, just as well as it should be. Um, what you'll do at this point is you'll take your DT80, power it on. Once the 4.2 shows up, that's as if you've already plugged in a battery and it's receiving the proper power. What you'll do here is then press the test and uh, hold it down there for a second and let's hold it actually a little bit longer and there we go now we're booting taking a look at these you'll see that the um, the phone is booting and then you can see the voltage and then also the amperage draw a pretty cool thing about this is it does show you 
the max amperage that it pulled at any given time. So during boot it does pull, um, you know, above an amp. And then it's going to show you the time. So we've been powering the board for about 31 seconds now. And uh, if we check this out, there we go. Phone is powering up and it is usable. Uh, so this does come in handy if you have questionable batteries or just a device that you really don't know what it's doing and you've tested a whole bunch of different things on. So this will kind of give you a little bit better understanding on what it's actually doing. To power off the device, you'll just uh, go ahead and hit the power and this will be as if you unplug the battery. So there we go, and that one's actually powered off. So now let's go ahead and pull this out and we'll plug it into a partially working motherboard. And I say partially working because this one still does not boot. Um, but it it tries to at least. It does pull some amperage. So we're going to go and plug this in. And uh, so we got the digitizer and the LCD plugged in, got the battery and also the charge port plugged in, and then we're going to take this, uh, power it up, so it simulates a battery being plugged in, and we can see that there is a little bit of a draw. Uh, so there is a slight short on the motherboard. If we do hold down the power button and we try to get it to boot, it sits about a tenth of an amp and we get nothing on the screen here. Uh, what you could do at this point, this would give you some um, good indication on um, you know that you need to go look for shorts on the motherboard and that's a whole different um, topic but, um, but this does let you know that there is a malfunction but it is attempting to boot so a very slight short on the board but still attempting to boot. So once again, power it off. And we'll go ahead and plug that. And then this last one over here, this one actually will not boot at all. I'm going to say that. This one has a full short on the motherboard. So this DT880 is currently at zero volts. So when we plug it in, uh, no volts will be in the board. But check this out. The second that we turn it on, the meter goes super dark and it's actually pulling about three and a half amps. And then it will actually restart. So there we restart. So something like this, um, what this would indicate is that it's trying to pull power immediately when plugging the battery. And so when you simulate and mimic the battery by pressing power, you can immediately see that it goes a 3.4 there. Uh, so pretty cool. Um, so this does give you a little bit of an insight. Hopefully it kind of gives you an understanding on what the DT880 does, but basically is a tool that gives you a little more insight as to what your phone is actually doing, and this mimics the battery. So once again, it's not to charge a phone or anything like that, but it's literally to imitate a battery being plugged in, but with the advantage of seeing the actual voltage and the amperage and max amp and also the time that it's running. So it's a great diagnostic tool that can give you a bunch of insight. As you can see, the DT880 is an incredibly easy and compact tool that can get you some really great insight into what the phone is actually doing that come across your workbench. And like I said before, even if you're not at the board level diagnostic level yet, the DT880 is still a great tool to have as it can give you that insight and help you understand more of the devices so you can actually get to that point. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If not, the other button seems to work okay too. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button. I'll see you later.